and welcome back to another Tales of Tribute game. Uh, going second this time. Let's see what our opponent is picking first. But we are almost certainly picking Alessia up uh, at the start. And uh, so far, um, so far I'm still slowly climbing up the rank. Hope to get to at least rank 10 by the end of the season. Uh, was Red Eagle first? So uh, let's go with Alessia. And and Regine this time, and our opponent's probably picking Crows. I always expect Crows and uh, Red Eagle to go together. That's just... Uh, when your opponent starts picking white, either one of the two, you sort of expect the other one. I kind of like Regine right now in the sense that I'm trying to look for the 5 gold card. That, uh, that gives 4 gold. That, that one's quite nice to pick up. And our opponent plays first, and the correct pick here is Midnight Raid. So, yeah, fairly straightforward. Opponent gets super unlucky though because we picked the Alessia first. Uh, his agent doesn't do anything, and he's unable to use the reach power to uh, to produce uh, that extra extra draw. So let's pick up the Midnight Raid first, and we also have just enough for one more uh, treasury usage. So uh, things are things are okay for us right now. We're not we're probably not going to get as good a turn next turn, however, because. Uh, we're only going to generate 3 power, whereas our opponent can do whatever he wants. Picks up the Agent, uh, not so sure about that, with 4 power. Uh, I can't really do very much right now, but Soldier of the Empire is the best pick here for sure. Uh, I wanna, uh, get, Getting that one early is going to cause problems down the road. As you can see, my opponent actually got rid of his uh, uh, reach, reach power card, and that's going to be quite... That's going to be very problematic against Agents in the future, so right now I'm planning to go more Agents. I have the one Midnight Raid. I can either use the Reach Power to buy a Mori House uh, and, on, and, and gamble on that because I still have I still have like one power card. Uh, oh sorry, yeah, I, I, and I buy that to get the combo off of the, off the Midnight Raid. So this was a gamble. If I reached into the my power card, I wouldn't have been able to afford anything and that would be very awkward. But uh, I, I did want to get the Karth Manhunter online because basically that means my opponent has to kill it this turn. Which he can use Bloody Offering, so it's not the worst. And I do have to kill his his uh, Prowling Shadow this turn, so maybe things not that great. But we can we can kill his Prowling Shadow. We got one Soldier of the Empire and one uh, War Song from the Reach, so we must kill that that one, no question. And we still have a bit of extra stuff going on. I think uh, getting rid of one card is okay. The other alternative we could have done is shuffle, uh, use Alessia to shuffle one uh, one agent to our deck, which is also fine. But the more the smaller our deck gets, the better our midnight rates get because we're gonna get the combo. Um, we can kill his uh, rebel, so let's do that. And quite importantly, what we're looking for is um, to to uh, try to prevent our opponent from getting more crow cards. Now our opponent is, I think, slightly unfavored at this stage. He picked up a not so great crow card. I I, I I'm not sure cycling that was correct, but uh, I did it anyway. Anyway, our opponent picked up the not so great crow card, although it does produce power. But if he doesn't kill, like he bought that slumbering shadow, and our agents are still alive. This is like three free gold this turn, so this is not a position my opponent really wants to be in uh, whatsoever. It's uh, it's it's quite tricky. Um, slate of hand. We don't really have any Rajin cards to combo with. It's it's eh. It's not really that great. But our our whoa. Okay, I forgot. I think I forgot to use the treasury. There. That's a big mistake. Um, but yeah, our opponent has to deal with other agents, and he doesn't generate any power. His only power card is the Crow card, which is uh, not ideal. So uh, he, he's definitely in a bit of trouble right now. Like the fact that he's unable to kill my agents like for two turns in a row puts him at a big disadvantage. And it's all down to the fact that he uh, destroyed his Reach power card early. You know, this Soldier of the Empire is not a is not a big agent by any means. It's just one toughness. But against fighting against Alessia, you have to be able to kill these small agents. If you can't, if you let these agents get free value, you're just asking for a huge amount of trouble uh, down the road. And uh, not much I can get rid of. I can even get rid of the crow card because I I don't feel like uh, I don't feel like I'm winning through crows. Our deck is incredibly small right now, and we have a good amount of Alessia cards. That stubborn shadow pickup was also I'm quite sure a mistake. Like it's not it doesn't do anything. It's, uh, it doesn't affect it's, it doesn't improve his economy in any way. It's just a big fat agent, and we already picked up our Mori House, and uh, that Mori House is still alive, so uh, we can we can easily kill, we can easily take out his uh, his agents right now, uh, or can we? Actually, I think his Karth Manhunter might still be alive, which is a bit awkward. Yeah, um, we can either pick Shadow Slumber, which is okay. He does have a couple of agents in his deck, 
Uh, alternatively, we can um, buy a Chainbreaker Sergeant. I, I, I like Shadow Slumber right now. Okay, so we, we don't we don't really we um we had a lot of gold and not much to do with it, so we just use our crow power. Uh, that's also okay because we're gonna win really soon. We have our midnight raid in our deck, so uh, the, the the clock is is definitely ticking for our opponent right now, uh, and uh, he, he does need to. I'm not sure what he can do to get out of this because he's fighting against a midnight raid and he leaves all my agents alive one more time. And I mean, I guess you can say he doesn't have a choice because he needs to buy some cards. But uh, at the same time, this is uh, this is like getting to the stage where it's not really, uh, yeah, like it's it's leaving my agents alive means I just get to 35 prestige and I'm gonna win in a turn or two. So. Um, this is a very good example of, of a early Alessia versus Crow game, which happens very often at this rank because lots of people pick Crows and Reach. But basically, if you're picking Crows and Reach, you really, really need a way to deal with Alessian agents. And these Crow cards, especially the early Crow cards, don't necessarily generate power. And if you don't have power, if you just destroy your, if you destroy your Reach power card early, you're just going to be in big trouble. And you, if you can't deal with the agents, then you're just going to lose. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.